Welcome to Inside the Mind of a Top Ranked Valorant Player. My name is Andy Slaps and today I'm going to be going through some of my own ranked games, breaking down what I did right and what I did wrong, and how you can improve to become the best Valorant player you can be. I have over 10,000 hours of first person shooter experience, a bulk of which came from playing CSGO and A rank on ESEA, slapping in Global Elite, and playing in Open slash Mountain Dew League. I have been slapping professional players since early 2015 in a variety of titles and have fallen in love with strategy and in-game tactics to dismantle my enemies. Most recently, I was top 300 in the world in Apex Legends before quitting to come back to my favorite game type, 5v5 shooter. Grab your popcorn, maybe get a notepad, and let's dive right in so you can soak someone's panties when you say those long-awaited words. I achieved the highest rank in the game, Valorant. As soon as we start the game, I realize that they only have an omen providing their smoke, so I know their attack side is going to be much weaker. So I know that even if we don't do great on this half, we'll definitely be able to bring it back considering we have a slightly better composition overall. So you're just playing C. So what do we know so far? From our teammates call out, we know that Sage is on C, and for me shooting the camera in Garage and baiting out the screen, we know that Cypher is playing Garage. This means that more than likely there's two players on C, two players on A, and one middle, like a typical default. I push C. Their Phoenix pushes C and gets taken out by our Cypher, and we know that there's still a Sage on C along with a Cypher in Garage. So maybe the smarter play here would just be go to hard commit to A, but we're already in middle and we were pretty confident we could win this fight, so we go straight for garage control. Yeah, careful of the back sight, back sight, yeah, yeah, no, push up. After my teammate and I take out the cipher, I get instantly walled off and no, I'm not gonna break this wall then. I'm just gonna turn around and rotate through garage to cut off some rotators and or get back onto the site as soon as possible. No, mid door, mid door, mid door. Like we basically have the round in the bag. It's a 5v1 situation, so there's no point for me to re peek Omen after I already got the information. I'm on 10 HP, and I'd probably just die losing a $500 gun. It's not a big deal, but in this situation, there's no point for me to peek it and just let my teammates do all the work. This match was recorded earlier in the beta, and these guys are only plat rank, so in general, I'm not too worried about keeping the Spectre for this round and then carrying it into the rifle round. Sometimes people like to buy pistol armor, that way they can upgrade straight to like a Phantom or a Vandal on round three, but for me personally, I don't think this game's gonna be that difficult, so I'm just gonna hold on to the Spectre, secure the second round, and use it in the third. It's already a 3v5, my teammates have already pushed on to A, and in general, I, there's no point for me to really go A right now, I'm better off just holding middle and cutting off any rotations I can, ending this round as quickly as possible. Oh, yeah. Considering I just killed a guy through B and I didn't get shot in the back through middle and I heard nothing towards garage, more than likely he's going to be in CT spawn about to push onto A. That is why I'm peeking this angle the way I am, and what do you know? I'm correct. Flawless! It's now round 3, and since the enemy team didn't force up, more than likely they're going to have full rifle and armor. I could have upgraded to a Phantom or a Vandal, but in general, these guys really aren't that good. Like I said, this is plat rank, and more than likely I'll be able to take them out with my Spectre. I'm going to take this early mid control just for play for information, and see how the round goes. Similarly to the second round, my teammates take sight again, and I'm still in middle, so I'm just going to wait for someone to rotate through B and shoot them in the back of the head. Bro, I keep killing the B rotates and then shooting him in the back of the head. That's the second time. <laughs> they lost their gun round, so more than likely they're going to have a bad buy. I could have kept my Spectre, but in general, I just didn't really care. So I decided to upgrade to a Phantom, considering no one on our team has died in three rounds, and I had the money to spare. In garage. Their economy's bad. We don't have to force anything. Hold my mid. After my three quick entries on the B, the omen tries to save, but my teammate hunts him down and kills him. This leads us into the fifth round. They're gonna have a buy, and I'm gonna peek middle like I always do. However, he's hopping. That's no fun. Stop, so careful if you have after I get viciously penetrated in middle, my teammates drop like flies, but they do end up getting the bomb down on A. It is a 2v2 situation, and right now they're just going to play for time. However, Cypher wide swings and dies. And it leaves Panda in a 1v2 situation, so he's going to do the smart thing, use his utility, and try to delay that bomb defuse as long as physically possible. Uh, okay. Okay. Huh. One enemy remaining. Good job. 
Fortunately, my teammate clutched up. However, the Cypher threw that round by wide swinging even when the enemy wasn't on the bomb. In that situation, neither of them should have peeked until they tapped the bomb, and then they should have peeked trying to get them off of the bomb, and then just wait as long as possible, waiting for the bomb to explode. We can go aggressive uh, garage and just abuse that, considering... He's putting two tripwires in garage. He... Oh, if he's putting two in garage, we can literally just run up C. Yeah, that's what I was five. trying to say earlier. Okay. In a game where you're destroying the enemy, you really don't need complicated strats. Since we knew that Cypher liked to put both of his tripwires in garage, we knew that C would probably be an easy take, so we decided just to five-man push it, and we caught the Cypher off guard and got the site very quickly. Yeah, he was just coming to fucking put his tripwires up. Oh, my God, trip I'm gonna hold on to Panda. Uh, yeah. In this situation, we already have a man advantage. We have full control of the site and we plan it for long. So we send two players long, and I'm gonna hold this angle towards CT. And Garage is currently walled off, so I don't even have to worry about it. Yeah, no, I got their, their CT if they push up. He's out, dude. In the smoke. Owen pushed the smoke and Garage shot me inside the head, which is fine because he was instantly traded out and then followed up with another kill on site. Bomb was about to explode, so everyone just got off site and Sova saved his op yet again. He doesn't want to lose his op. Uh, apparently again, Sova though. left, allegedly. With our sixth round in a row in the first half, the Sova on the enemy team decides to rage quit, leaving his team in a 45 situation. We know Sova plays towards A, so we're just going to five man push A together as a team and we're smoking everything off and then just taking over the site. I'm smoking A, let's go. Three, four, one, go, go, go. Bomb, buddy. Oh. Where is everyone hiding? Oh, oh watch out, brother. Yeah, I heard. <laughs> Are you kidding? Bro. Oh, watch out, brother. Well, despite me blowing up my teammate and getting the most unlucky RPG shot in between two hostiles, we still ended up winning the round and continued our streak. We're just gonna 13 and know these guys. Oh, no! Well, he spoke way too soon. Let's go over what went wrong that round. No, they're pushing, they're pushing. Go they're pushing. Go 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 Okay. While pushing onto A, Omen shotguns one of our teammates in the face, making it a 4v4 again. I know that he's A short, so I'm going to try to push up A long as quickly as possible to get that trade. I killed him, one, one hell though. Now of course I shouldn't have pushed A long with the bomb solo, but I genuinely didn't even know I had the bomb, and I also thought Phoenix was going to push with me, but he was holding the flank. Which he did get a kill for, which is good, but it took him a little bit too long to get back with the team after the fact. Despite hearing the enemy Phoenix ult, Cypher decides to wide swing and shoot his clone, getting himself killed. The King of Throws is added again, and that puts us back into a 2v2 situation. Grab the bomb. Panda gets the trade, but then gets taken out by the Sage. So, all in all, it wasn't really that huge of a throw, but a couple of things could have certainly gone better, like if someone went long with me, or if I just turned around in general, didn't push the site, could have reset and changed position, but it's all water under the bridge. Literally, first bullet through the smoke hit me. Unlock. Ah, uh, yeah, let's just slow down. Like, play for picks. Like, there's no point to throw. Because of the loss, we decided to slow things down a little bit, which was, in general, a good idea. We ended up taking mid control, we got the site, I ended up dying, and then it was a 2v2 situation. Yeah, spot bomb, Ziggs, with your camera. Cage triggered. Although Cypher did get this kill, he took a lot of unnecessary risks. For one, he wasn't using his utility like the camera he had for information or to spot the bomb, which was stupid of him, and he also wide swinged entirely when he could have had a much tighter angle. Had the Phoenix been able to kill him and Omen killed the Sage, we totally could have thrown this round, but fortunately enough, we ended up winning it. Oh, he's doing it. Fortunately, Cypher doesn't do anything stupid at the end, and we end up winning the round. This leads us again into another five-man push on C after we get a quick peek near Garage, and we just decide to charge the site. Let's go see. 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 Yeah, that's Cypher. Oh, 
After that initial pick towards Garage, they completely give up C as a whole. Sage walls off Garage just to be sure, and our Brimstone does smokes back a CT just to make sure that no one is going to be pushing anytime soon. I take an aggressive angle on high ground, and I hold this, and although I'm covering two angles, it does catch the enemy off guard not once, but two different times. One Garage, last one. He ulted. He ulted. He's going to go back into Garage. Yeah, he's got his ultimate, dude. He's got his ult. Did he tap it? No. no. Oh. He's on that as well. Die. Although the Phoenix was able to kill two of us, our Brimstone had his ultimate, and he's doing the smart thing, waiting for a sound cue to ult the bomb. There wasn't much time left, so by him ulting this, this completely secured the win, and there was nothing Phoenix could do. Nothing he could do, dude. He's gonna stick it, bro. He's actually just gonna sit there. Last player oh. standing. You love killing yourself, bro. It's so bad if you notice it is a 4v4 situation and I am iced inside a window so there's not much I can really do. And this gets even worse when I get walled off and I hear an op shot coming from my left, which means Omen is already pushed up and there's lots of activity in middle. Nah, dude, I was inside the window. Shortly after Omen got the opening kill, our team fragged back one and then ended up all dying. So now I'm in a 1v3 situation. What do we know so far? Well, we know that Omen is on my close left with a sniper rifle. We also know that there are two people middle playing more towards our spawn. And at the moment, they can't do anything because there's a wall behind me. So all I have to worry about right now is this Omen. Player standing. Close. Yeah. As I walk out of the window, I notice the omen is scoped in and can't physically see me. If I kill him now, then both of his teammates will know where I am and probably instantly trade me out. Because of this, I'm going to try to get as much information as possible. I do hear shooting on my right, so I do know that my prediction of them being where they were is correct, and they're most likely camping the bomb as two, with Omen camping right here. So what I'm going to try to do is swing out, get an angle on one of them before taking out the omen. I kill the Sage quickly, then transfer over to Omen and take him out as well, then to flick back to the Phoenix to deal about 4 shots to his body. I know he's low health, and I have lots of utility to use. Right now we're winning 9-1, to one, so if I use my RPG this round, it won't be a huge deal, but we definitely want to secure this round so we can close this game out Andy as quick as possible. Brain, <laughs> Woo! Let's go! Oh, oh baby! Let's go. <laughs> Thank God I didn't choke on that sage, dude. Oh, I would have been. Fuck, it's already middle, bruh! What the fuck, bruh? The way I died in this round was really stupid. I was holding garage and I got headshot from middle where I thought my Phoenix was watching. Turns out he was actually just reading his Twitch chat. I'm nice. sorry, I was reading the chat, man. Although I died due to miscommunication, Minato did get the trade, and then we ended up killing the rest of their team without losing another person. Now it is 11-1, and it's our first round on defense. I'm playing on B, so I'm going to start off with an angle that not a lot of people play, so I'm just going to boost myself up on this box and try to get an easy headshot early on in mid. You literally said what I said. No, I'm watching my stream. Oh. That took way too long. Another one mid. Yeah, I'm really saving. They just pushing up A long. I'm gonna molly them. Ah, yeah, it's three middle, dude. One left and the two outside garage. I really thought he teleported into that corner. Don't pee. One enemy remaining. Hey, he's left side of middle. Nice. nice. Never mind, you're not. Poggers. Bruh, 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 bruh. Even though I choked a fat one, we are now at match point. All we have to do is just win one more round, and it is game over. This round is probably the easiest way to do it, considering we're going to have better guns than them, and it already is a 4v5. So right now, I'm not playing aggressive at all. I'm playing a passive angle, waiting for them to push, and ready to slay out. Yeah, they're going to see, they're going to see, I think. No, oh, they're here, they're here. What? God, they're the On site. One enemy remaining. That was dumb. Where? I got bomb. I B. think. I think garage. Oh. Enemy oh, shit. Let's go. I guess I got a bottom frag to win. Let's go. Dad. That's what it takes. I, I lose so many games top frag. I mean, it's probably because your team's bad. 
Tell you top right. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to slap that like button, smash that subscribe for more content coming to you soon. I would like to make this series a weekly thing, so please comment down below your thoughts on it and if you actually learned something. If you want to see these plays live, go on over to my Twitch, twitch.tv slash slaps with a Z, and check out my other social medias like my Instagram and Twitter. All the links will be in the description down below, and I hope you guys have an amazing day.